in route I saw a large column of smoke in the air when I arrived there was heavy fire um, coming from the front of the structure and after doing a walk around there was heavy fire coming from the rear of the structure as well. As soon as it was dispatched it was reported that there was possibly somebody still inside or had gone back inside um, so the one of the assistants requested an engine out of the city for assistance and then a second alarm was generated after that. When I arrived, there was an assistant chief from Stafford who had confirmed that everybody was out, so nobody was inside. Preliminary investigation is that the uh, homeowner had turned on their uh, uh, furnace, so it's propane powered hot uh, or propane fueled um, forced hot air, and she had left to go and give assignments to her crews for the business that they run here. And when they came back, they had smelled she had smelled something funny, something hot, and one of her employees saw smoke exiting from the garage. They entered the garage, opened a door into the house, and there was heavy black smoke in the house itself. So right now we're leaning towards, based on investigation, that regarding cooking and, and things of that nature, again, preliminarily, we're looking at the furnace that may have had a, a malfunction. They had a water problem here in the basement uh, a couple weeks ago. So that may have attributed to the to the malfunction of the furnace uh, with with a couple feet of water in the basement itself. I don't know what was caused or how that was caused. So we're going to continue with the investigation, but we've got to bring in some heavy equipment and make the structure safe before we can start uh, getting in the building to uh, further investigate. It, it appears at this point, preliminarily again, it looks like it was something that was near the kitchen, but it may have been in the in the basement and then uh, cause the kitchen, obviously, to become first involved. Based on the damage of the house itself, we can see uh, the location of the fire within the, or the location of the fire within the building where the most damage is, but we're still gonna keep looking. There are two dogs, um, and I believe an employee was able to get them out. The town of Batavia was dispatched, then we requested an engine out of the city. Our second alarm brings in um, Leroy, an engine out of Stafford, uh, Mercy EMS, and then we have standbys at both Station 1 and Station 2. Fast team out of Alexander. I'm sorry, a fast team out of Alexander.